And the last four o'clock game of the day, we got number six Oregon, who's nine and one, traveling on the road to Arizona State, who's three and seven. Oregon favored by twenty three and a half points on Fox. Bo Nix with his Heisman campaign has gone two fifty eight to three thirty two. Done for 3,135 yards, 29 touchdowns to two interceptions. A little bit better than Caden Salter. <laughs> uh, Bucky Irving for the Ducks has gone 130, had 138 carries for 939 yards and 10 touchdowns. Troy Franklin's had 60 catches for 1,093 yards and 11 touchdowns. Trenton Bourget has had 100, gone 131 to 211, thrown for 1,344 yards, one touchdown, four interceptions. Cam Scadabo has had 139 carries for 626 yards and Eight touchdowns, and Elijah Badger has had 58 catches for 649 yards and three touchdowns. Oregon is 20 and 18 against Arizona State all time. Last game did go to Arizona State in 2019, though, and Oregon has not won at Arizona State since 2015. Last three games have gone been one possession football games, and Arizona State has gone two and one of those football games. Again, Arizona State is weirdly competitive this year. I mean, they've gotten their butts kicked sometimes, right? I think. A couple weeks ago, they got their butts kicked against Utah. But typically speaking, this has not been the the joke that a lot of people thought this football team was going to be. And it's weird because the quarterback play has been so atrocious. And it, you could expect it for a team like Arizona State. Because, again, when you your only real star quarterback, Jalen Rashada, the guy that they flipped from Florida, he went down very early in the year. And it's like, well... Arizona State, they don't have depth at that position. And they they played some awful games, right? Fresno State was atrocious. But ever since then, they've been doing interesting things with the football. It's like, this is not a high-scoring offense, but they do enough to stay in football games. It's an Arizona State team that beat UCLA last weekend. This is a scary Arizona State team. Ask Washington, who went down to Arizona State a couple of weeks ago and barely came out with the victory. Arizona State led for the majority of that game, well over three quarters of football. Uh, again, it, you don't play three quarters of football, but like this has been a more competitive Arizona State team than a lot of people thought they were going to be. Beware of the Sun Devils. This is not a good offense outside of Scam, Cam Scadaboo. There's not a lot of talent on it, but Arizona State's like their NFL counterpart in Arizona, and that just not a lot of talent on the team. But damn, do they play hard? This is a this team plays hard. This team plays some really good football at times. Um, I'm interested to see how this Arizona State program grows because I think legitimately they've been playing well above expectations this year. They've been playing competitive against some com very good football teams, and they beat UCLA last weekend. I think you would be remiss if you're Oregon to overlook this football game, especially with a big game, a chance for a look ahead. They play their rival Oregon State next week, and that's a really good Oregon State squad. Um, I like Oregon to win, but I like Arizona State to keep this closer than a lot of people think, and I think Arizona State covers on at home.